Hey what's up everybody welcome back to the channel. In this short video I'm going to review the 8122D Master Lock Bike Lock. I've had this lock and another one uh, exactly the same for about three, two, three years now and it is honestly my most used bike lock. I'm not saying it's the best bike lock in the world. I'm not saying that you can't break, you know, cut it and, and steal the bike or anything like that. I'm sure you can but I'm just saying for convenience sake for just, you know, decent, you know, being a decent lock it's the one I always go to. Sim simplicity. I just always find this one in my backpack. Um, it's it's my normal use one. Now I wouldn't, you know, probably lock up my most expensive bike with this or anything like that in front of a store, but I usually use just a normal bike when I go to the store, and this is the lock I go with. So about this lock, it's a four combination. It's a four com four digit combination lock. Um, one of the nice features about it is is how easy it is to change the code. So right now I have it set at three three three. All you have to do is rotate this dial right here to the setting mode, and then you set it whatever you want. So I'm going to set it now to uh, 2222, right? And then you just switch it back to the normal mode, and now that's 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 it. You're locked at 2222, right? Put it back, and you're open. So it's that easy to change the code if you ever need to. I don't change it that much just for this video, but um, it's a six foot long lock, they say. Now, of course, don't, you know, you're never going to really stretch it to six feet, I don't think. I, I usually just can barely get it around my frame and and uh, and whatever uh, bike rack I happen to be at. But, um, you know, it's long enough for that. It's a good, you know, balance, I think. I wouldn't want really one bigger or, or smaller. Uh, it's called 12 millimeters, so it's almost a half inch diameter cable, and I can tell you it's not easy to break. I actually have a video on my other channel, which I'll link down below, where I tried and did eventually cut my old one, because uh, I forgot the combination, with a hacksaw. And it did take, I, I don't remember exactly, you can watch a video, maybe 15-20 minutes, and a very sore arm in order to get through it. So it's not, uh, you know, it's not that easy to cut. It did come with uh, one of those things you can mount onto the frame of the bike, and then you can mount the whole lock. I never used those things, so I don't even have mine anymore. In fact, I just noticed that there's a screw here. I can probably even get rid of this. Uh, what else about the lock? Yeah, it's it's a bike lock. What can I say? It's a pretty good one. Oh, I, let's check the weight, by the way. I have the scale here for that. It's going to be 698 grams. That's 24.6 ounces. So it's got, you know, a bit of weight to it. As always, you know, you want things to be lighter, but there's a, there's a trade-off there. Um, digits are nice. They, they feel nice and secure. They're not kind of mushy or anything. I, I don't think they're kind of mushy, you know. They have a nice nice click about them. Not exactly a click, but they fall into place nicely. Um, yeah, I've never had any trouble with this bike lock. It's my go-to. So, yeah, what else can I say about it? I think that's about it. Oh, and you, where you can get it, uh, I think... I don't remember exactly how much I paid, probably around $15. I think I bought this one at Target. You can get them all over the place. I, I'm going to put a link to one on Amazon.com. You can get for just $12.50 right now, $12.50. So, uh, again, that's the 8122D. That's about it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.